Sup guys, so a while back I made a guide on how to install AOSP Android 11 on your Razer Phone 2. And AOSP Android 11 is fairly basic, and a lot of people don't like basic, they like features. So this is one of the most feature rich OS's out there, Havoc OS. So yeah, this is going to be a fairly quick guide on how to install this on your Razer Phone 2. So first things first, download all the things in the description, I'll leave links for everything. Um, extract the zip files too and also you're gonna need to unlock the bootloader on your phone I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do that um, I'm gonna link a guide in the description though on how to do that so yeah first things first after unlocking your bootloader open up device manager and under other devices you're gonna find Android just make sure that your phone is in fast boot mode so power button volume down plug it in to your PC um, so you're gonna find Android okay so we're gonna double click on Android click on update driver because it has a warning sign over it, it doesn't have a driver uh, we're gonna browse my computer for drivers let me pick a li from a list of available drivers on my computer show all devices have disk browse and then on your desktop or wherever you put your USB drivers folder just open that and then click on Android WinUSB.inf and click on open and then OK. And then you're just going to click on Android bootloader interface because that's the driver that we're installing. And click on next. And it's going to give you a warning. This warning doesn't really matter. Just click on yes. And there we go. The driver is installed. And next thing we will need to install platform tools now platform tools is what's going to give you the ability to run ADB and fastboot commands so to install this just extract this zip file to somewhere I don't recommend putting it on your desktop because this is going to stay here forever unless you don't plan on putting anything else on your phone ever or any other OS on your phone so yeah, uh, just put it somewhere like, I don't know, I put mine in my C drive, just like root folder in my C drive, um, but, you know, you can put it wherever you want, uh, I just don't recommend it on your desktop, because it's just going to add clutter. So, to, in, to install this system wide, what we're going to do is we're just going to open our start menu and look up environment variables, open that, and in environment variables... Uh, we're going to click on environment variables and then scroll down on the bottom section to path we're just going to double click on path click on new uh, browse and then you're going to navigate to your platform tools folder we're j I'm, I'm just going to click on this and then click on ok and then ok again and then ok and then ok there's a lot of ok's it's, it's pretty ok um, and then I'm going to uh, install the stock firmware on this phone because you cannot install the OS without having some stock firmware first so here is the stock firmware folder I'll leave a link in the description for this and uh, we're just gonna run flash all dot bat and just give it a second it'll um, it'll do its thing and uh, yeah be back in a bit so after this has finished it's gonna close itself and your screen is gonna turn black now after it turns black immediately after just hold the power button and volume down until it goes back into um, fast boot mode now for me uh, mine is a little bit different uh, I modified the flash all the bad file to not reboot into system um, so I'm gonna just reboot the bootloader real quick uh, give it a second um, Meanwhile, uh, we are just going to open up, we're just going to close that, open up CMD, and let's install, let, let's install the, uh, the, the bootloader, let's install the bootloader, let's install TWRP, um, so we're just going to type in fastboot flash boot, and just drag in our boot.image file, and hit enter, and there we go, just flashed the bootloader okay and then next thing we're gonna we're gonna flash the OS so fast boot 
slash system and then just drag in our OS and hit enter and it's gonna give you invalid sparse file format of header magic that's you know that doesn't matter um, it's just gonna install normally anyway so yeah just let it do its thing give it a second and uh, yeah so after it has finished installing the OS onto the phone uh, we can unplug it now uh, so we're just get, we're gonna do the rest of everything on the phone so um, what we're gonna do is here give me give me a second alright so what we're gonna do we're gonna go down to recovery mode and hit the power button to select it and give it a second you can double tap the power button to skip that bootloader unlocked screen and uh, yeah so here we are in TWRP recovery uh, we're just gonna swipe to allow modifications and okay we're gonna hit wipe and then format data and then just type in yes and it'll do its thing and then we're gonna go back all the way to reboot and then reboot into recovery click do not install and then give it a second alright now that we are back in TWRP recovery I'm just gonna swipe to allow modifications again I'm gonna hit wipe format data once more and then type in yes again and then reboot system do not install and then uh, give it a second it's gonna say like encrypting and all that um, it'll take a second because it's first boot and all that so yeah uh, after this you will have full Android 11 all set up and ready to go have it go as tons of features and uh, yeah now if it doesn't boot up um, just go back into TWRP and uh, you know just format it again then reboot um, now in my case it booted up uh, just fine and here we go this is Havoc OS right here and it thinks that your phone is a pixel so this is the pixel setup screen so yeah um, thanks for watching have a good day